this. This is solo dolo. Uh, <laughs> um, so I got an item yesterday called the Madman's Eye. It says, this minion gets an extra turn if they're the only unit left in the squad. So I'm like, are you literally supposed to either bring them in alone with no help or have your whole team die for this to be effective? Then I realized I had another item, the Boiling Blood. For each unfilled squad slot, the minion gets 4 armor, 4 resistance, 14 attack, 14 dread, evasion, and accuracy. So if I bring this dude in alone, he gets 14 attack times 3. Uh, and he sits there <laughs> and he loads powder into his cannon and then he kills truly everyone on the enemy team in one hit. Um, I, ah, oh, dang, a quest. No, a quest. Oh, well, I'm just going to run into it with these guys. I still have the same setup of stuff. All right, please don't be an encounter quest. Oh, ever since you slaughtered your way through the underground, you've been wondering where the humans were putting their convicts and prisoners now. Today, it seems your question is partially answered. You stumble upon a bunch of magical cages with raving wizards locked away inside. Potential future experiments, then. You consider your options carefully. You could just continue on, but maybe you can find a use for this unexpected find provided you are willing to free a bunch of lunatic spellcasters uh oh i actually got lucky enough to have a unit that applies here um you can use they can be used against your enemies so have a blood phantasm influence them before you open the cages because i have a blood phantasm in my party when i went here okay so this will initiate a battle and this will leave them so because i had a blood phantasm in my selected party, I get a special uh, option here. Boom. With their minds already crumbling, it did not take much to infect them with the madness of the blood phantasm. Although you cannot control them, when you open the cages, they run out into the tunnels where they will cause havoc for your enemies. Can you just see these buck naked wizards? Crazy. Out of their minds. Running around. What bonus did I get? In battle, all enemies lose 20% vigor and 20% sanity for two battles. So the next two battles will be very easy. Well, I did not even need them to be easy. So I'm going to be using solo dolo. But actually, can I come up here? I think I can. I think I can come up this way. So I can fight either of these two fights. Which one is better? I'll do this one. Even though the enemies have armor, that won't matter. It's time. Oh yeah, first I should change up the artifacts. Uh, okay, so he needs armor, I think. Yep, and then for this one down here, I used reduce their uh, blocks. Need them to not have blocks. And he gets extra initiative the first two rounds, maybe. Nope, we'll stick with the golden rose. First two turns get 20%. Even though I don't see me attacking in the first two turns like I did last time. Is there a better thing for this slot? Gets Wrath. 15% chance to stun enemies. He gets Spell Power. Insanity. I guess Spell Power. Yeah, I guess Spell Power for my buff. And then we will reduce the enemy's initiative again. Oh, I love this so much. I carry Big Boom, he says. Um, so, oh, I could have used the Rose because they're weakened. That's fine. So what he does is trench loading. Trench loading. Buff. Gets 50% more damage, and he gets a block and a ward. 
I could have chose for him to get more damage and not the block in the ward, but since he's truly solo dolo, uh, we want him to be as protected as possible. So this buff stacks. So he sits here, and he he buffs up his cannon, and he laughs, and he just maniacally cracks up as they do everything they can to break through these blocks and these wards, and they're just like, please, Rotten Flesh does not resist acid too well. You know, I totally disagree, because you can't even hurt this guy. Trench loading. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, do your best. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're so close. I don't know about the acid strategy. You're doing good. I, I, you, almost so close. Oh, jeez, buddy. Jeez, you really almost had it. Ha, ah, dang. Well. That was a fun fight. <laughs> Death predestined. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> a thousand years of evolution looks like <laughs> pathetic. Yeah, <laughs> that's what Solo Dolo does. <laughs> I guess I got an item. Unlocks the destruction spell. Deals a ton of magic damage. Wow, deals a metric ton of magic damage. Deals 100% more damage. The target is stunned? That's insane. That's a cool item. Oh, Solo. You, you have... You have changed the game for me, my man. I'm gonna kid him out in all purples and make him like as good as I possibly can. Cause that that's just too good. It's just too dang good. Alright, uh we'll go to the steel here. I'll keep playing and I'll just cut this into two episodes in my editor, no big deal. Um Yes, I need experience for Aratus, definitely. Need to get up his experience. So I can purchase uh I was looking for I keep hitting my microphone. I was looking for, I think, Valley of Spears. 25 damage and 100% physical damage if they're debuffed. My teams debuff the enemies all the time. And it'll help me unlock um, these really powerful ones. I need to unlock Reign of Gore, uh, which could just be named Solo Dolo, because truly that's what Solo Dolo is. He's a one-man Reign of Gore. Uh, but, yeah, we're going to buy this. And then I think there was somewhere to alter the spells that you take into the fight, right? Where where can I see artifacts, alchemy creation, the dungeon? How do I... Reset floor is an option? What? No, nothing here. No. Okay, maybe I'm imagining things. I guess I'll see it when I get into the dungeon. Um, what's next? Ooh, enemies I've never seen before. Uh, the dude with the hood on his head I've never fought, truly ever. And actually that elf I've never seen before either. The lady with the crown heals and buffs, and the dude up front is super obnoxious, defends his, his allies, can't be debuffed. All that goodness. Um... So if I ever fight a team that I don't know what it does, I bring in the counterattack team. They're just stupid resistant. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. <laughs> Aratus, you're so cool. All right, yeah, we'll do this. Yep, that sounds good. Do we want to take in a temporary item? No, nothing that we need to take in for that. Um. What I will do, however, is use Distillation to give all my dudes a buff, I think. Never going to use these super low-level brains. 
So let's do this. Oop. Now all my dudes get 10% more damage and take 10% less damage in the next fight. Counterattack team! What are you, you gross man? A failed experiment. Truly a failed experiment. I was dissing on him, but uh, looks like the game already knows. Wow, his damage is so high. 60 to 92. Uh, pretty low accuracy just in general. Decent luck, and you have a feature. Feature. Start a turn if it has less than 25% life, it self-destructs. Dealing 100% magical damage to all of my minions. Does not leave parts when it self-destructs, and it cannot miss. Oh. Oh. Well, I have to bring Solo Dolo into the fights with these, because he just kills all the enemies in one hit. Uh, and what do you do, Mr. Shadow Elf? Oh my goodness. That looks sick. Recovers vigor equal 25% of the damage dealt. You're a wannabe vampire, are you? I see. Uh, so I don't have access to the spell that I just picked up. Oh, this is how you do it. You can just do it in combat. Okay. So yeah, I never used the whip. Let's take the whip out for Valley of Spears. All right, let's begin our rotation here. First, we'll slake with darkness just to get some of their... Um... Actually, no. I don't care about them having ward nearly as much as having a clock. So let's... Don't know why there's no sun up in the Do sky. That. Bony weather incoming. Bony weather incoming. You know, I don't miss that line. At all. He used to say that all the time in the, uh, <laughs> uh, when I played last year. So do we try to just drive you insane? Is this just bigger? Yeah, it is. This is bigger. Or I could get rid of one of these wards. Let's get rid of a ward. I think. Bam. And then we'll make them panic. Take out some more ward. Yep. Get counterattacked, fool. Ah, your frail bodies fail. And then we will continue put up our aura, right? Well, we have tons of wrath. Might be a good idea to set them on fire. No, let's wait on that. Let's get the aura up. Attack her. Buff. Yeah. What do you do? What do you got for me? Well, you took thirty damage. Oh, you took nine. Well, you do have a lot of armor and magic resistance. Oh! You have an AoE. You have an AoE attack that heals you. Interesting. That was really cool looking. Kind of sad that I have to murder you so efficiently. Um, This will do a lot. You have no armor either. Bam. A mass grave. That's a lot of damage. Buff up, bloody. Take away your last ward, give you guys some other little buffs that won't matter necessarily. Yeah, that's, that should be fine. Got it. And do we try for the kill on this guy? If it starts its turn, which means I have to kill it with either her or the Blood Phantasm, let's wait. Let's wait one more round, and then we'll try that. We're going to try to drive him crazy, though, I think is a good move. Or I could have her wait until his turn is over. Eh, this will be fine. Don't block. Cool. Perfect. Savor these last few heartbeats. Perfect. Now we will light everyone on fire in a beautiful way, or we can murder this dude. Let's murder this dude. Good, good. More materials. Ooh, I think it would be this easy. 
81? Are you actually kidding me? If that would have crit, she probably could have got one shot there. He had a 20% chance to crit. Nobody, no. You're, you're dying this round. You can't have that. That was the one, right? Oh, he just has so much armor. Not good. Perish. Perish. Yeah, you're dead to the ashes of a burned witch. As long as the healer doesn't go before you, and the healer doesn't, you go before the healer. So, we're fine. Uh, let's actually heal her. She has one more turn left on her aura, I think. No, she has two turns left. So instead, let's give you some more wards. And then we will try to get a crit with this and get a crit heal. Uh, yeah, you're going to die to the ashes. We'll deal with you later. Actually, we'll deal with you now. We'll deal with you now. Now that's going to leave a mark. <laughs> 12 damage times 5. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do we go super defensive ultra heal mode? Nope. We kill. Oh, she has a block. Dang it. I got cocky. Okay, cool. You're dead. Glad that the burning damage happens before the explosion. Uh, we, we, we tested that now for science, but I wasn't even thinking about that. Dead. Now we can heal. Ooh, big heal. Heal again. Nope, no crit. And... You have what, two buffs on you? Yeah, this will do a little bit. Yeah. Wow, I did a, more than a little bit. Jeez, he's trying to run. He's trying to escape. There will be no escape. My dudes are hitting so hard. What kind of bonus do I have? Okay, I guess we're just hitting insanely hard. Uh, we'll heal you. Yeah, uh, when that failed experiment hit me... I I thought for sure that I was going to lose her. I could have. If it would have crit, I could have. So I need to keep that in mind for the future. Uh, that's the thing about this game is I make it look a little easy, but that's because I know what the units do. And that's like 90% of the battle. I already know what to plan around and prepare for. When units come in that I don't know, it is so possible to lose a unit. And when I was first playing through this game years ago... Almost every fight, I lost a unit. Truly. Like, this game is hard. It is a hard game. Um, but I make it look like a joke. <laughs> a sad display for mortal kind. Very sad indeed, Aratus. And I got a token to let me know kind of how those failed experiments work. Ooh. Fortune Magnet. All minions get 16 luck till the battle ends. That's actually gross. That's 16% chance to crit. That's actually gross. Alright, they all leveled up. That's good. Uh, what do we got here? If we keep going down our path where we hit the Fountain of Restoration and then another fight with this experiment dude, which is fine. I'm actually going to bring in Solo Dolo to that next fight for sure. Um, is there anything that I want to buy here? More dread, no. More accuracy, eh. More luck, of course. More crit chance. There we go. For her, no. No, we're not putting evasion on you. Even if it is pretty efficient. And then did you, yes, finally enough to get your block. I had to save up 17 for that. But it was worth it. Alright, and then we don't need mana, and we don't need life on any of our units, so this is kind of a waste of a uh, of a node. That's okay. Alright, what do we got? Enemies that are able to be killed by a giant cannon, is what I see. 
Uh, so we bring in the ribcage armor, we bring in the... It's sad I can't use the spirit spear here, because solo dolo would get so much damage so quickly. Huh. I haven't used the spirit spear on him yet, have I? No, because I keep bringing in that thing that makes the enemies have less block. Which is really good for him, because he needs to hit. Maybe I do it differently this time. Yeah, let's take the Spirit Spear. We'll, we'll try that. I'll make him lose one block this way, and then the War Drums to give me some initiative in the first couple turns, make sure I get those buffs off before I get hit. Seems good. Do we use a one-time use item? Could use this to make all the enemies lose a block in a ward. Sure. Now I will make mortals tremble before me. Well, even more than previous. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening oh wait he leveled up let me just see if uh, I can give him absolutely anything a little bit more magic resist meh meh mm, meh 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 nah no need more luck no more evasion no solo adolo It's just so good to see him standing there by himself. Okay. You are the only one that has a block. So all I have to do is this. No one. There's no sun up in and now the sky. you are able to Bony be murdered. What? It's you. I know, dude. Look at them struggle. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> uh oh. What is that? Deafening bellow. Extra luck. Extra crit damage. Uh, so. This guy is actually built to one shot your units. This guy, like, that is his sole purpose, is to absolutely murder your units with one hit well unfortunately for him uh <laughs> imagine these humans like what is it doing and you just watch this demonic zombie just stuffing powder into the cannon they're just like what exactly is happening in front of us right now and he's just Ugh. Uh, nope. Uh, what are you at? No, nah, you need more. How greedy do I want to be? Do I do one more? Yeah, I need to do one more. Just, just, just one more. <laughs> just one more. <laughs> Cute. Okay. <laughs> Are you done? Don't go into a defensive stance. Good news. Good news. More. <laughs> more. <laughs> Predestined. Death predestined. <laughs> I could carry two booms now. Dude, you're carrying like six booms, right? You're carrying like precisely seven booms. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. <laughs> More. <laughs> no, dude. No, it, it truly doesn't. Oh, I'm like, I'm sweating. It's so amazing. All right, I got two one-time use items. That's that's so good. I'm almost at 200 digger souls, which is what I need to level up my excavation one more time. It's really good. Got two talent points. I need at least three to do anything on the destruction tree right now. To buy the soul leech. 
Uh oh, uh oh. I didn't read that. Aratus gains 50 spell power if there are two or fewer minions on the battlefield. Well, well, I. I don't have to wait for my minions to die for that to be good all of a sudden. <laughs> 50 spell power is. So, so I have 54 spell power now. So, like, this would double my spell power pretty much when I bring in Solo Dolo. Which makes all my spells just do more damage, cost less mana, have bigger buff effect. Like, I am crying. <laughs> this is... This has been the most fun. Um, Alright, so I think splitting this up into two episodes now... Oh, these poor fools. <laughs> like, I just want a Dolo. Yeah, dude. I just... I just like, could I could I solo dolo the boss? Like, might I be able to do this to the actual fourth floor, fourth floor boss? Like, that would just be so amazing. But thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. As always, peace.